All right, so this week's lesson is going to again involve Sketch's School. Of course, last week you should have uh, this app installed. We played around with it. We did a tutorial in class, and there was also a video that I posted on YouTube of how to use the different tools and features of Sketch's School. So if you have not installed it, you definitely need to install that now. Uh, just as a reminder, you can go into Sales Service to get that app. Uh, as you see, the Sketches School app is located here on my home screen on my iPad in the bottom right hand corner and is the tip of a pen. So for this week's art project, we're going to be diving in a little bit further into the Sketches School app. And before you begin, you need to take a selfie. Okay. Uh, you can get creative as you want to with this selfie. You can make an expression, maybe put on a hat. Uh, uh, or it can just be a generic selfie that you have taken with your iPad. You know, you can zoom in. Uh, I wouldn't zoom too far out. Um, you may want to stand against a solid background. Uh, I'm going to let you choose how you want to take your selfie. So go ahead and take your selfie first. Make sure that image is saved in your photo. So I'm going to open up Sketches School. Of course, I'm going to go to my sketchbook or folder, and I'm going to go ahead and select a blank sheet of paper. All right, so I already have my self-portrait taken. So um, last week we did learn how to import photos. Um, some of you probably have not done that yet. We're going to go to the three dots up top. I'm going to tap on those. You have five options. I'm going to go to the download uh, option. That is the fourth one from the left with the arrow pointing down. I'm going to tap that one time. You see I have an option of camera, photo, and files. I'm going to go to photo. And I pull up my photos and there is my basic self-portrait. All right, before we begin, you kind of have some options here. If you'll notice at the bottom, you have an X, a slider bar that deals with transparency, and a check mark. You obviously hit the check mark once you get it like you want it. Uh, of course, we could rotate, we could uh, move in and out. I'm just going to keep mine pretty basic. I am going to fill up my screen, and once I get it like I want to, I'm going to simply tap on the check mark. And now I'm ready to begin my self-portrait art project. So for this project, if you have a stylus, you can use that. However, you don't need it. You can simply use your finger. I'm going to first select my color as black. And I'm going to select the pen up here, which is the second uh, tool from the top right under the pencil. Of course, we see it highlighted in red right now. Now, some of you at this point, you may want to hide your toolbar. That's going to be up to you, whatever preference that you want. Okay, and if you look over here on the right-hand side, you have small, medium, and large. And I'm just going to keep that small setting. All right, so what we're going to do first is essentially trace the photo. Now, when you trace the photo, it's going to be very helpful to zoom in. And basically, I'm just pinching out and in and that's zooming in on the photo you can see here how it's easy to move uh, now you have to be careful because sometimes when if you try to go to move that with just one finger you inadvertently make a line of course we can undo that if we want to get rid of it so if i want to move I always try to, to pinch in or out and that's just kind of very helpful so i'm just going to start here with my glasses and Let's go ahead and start tracing. Now, as I'm tracing, I'm trying to get as neat of a line as possible. It will not be perfect. And you got to be careful around these edges because sometimes you're going to want to drag in. a web page or hide your tools but zooming in really is helpful oh, 
so you made a mistake right there. And I'm just going to fast forward this video now so you can see me finish the rest of it and not have to painstakingly watch the whole process. All right, so at this point, uh, I've got most of the major lines traced. So what you're going to want to do, if you'll notice in the top right hand corner of your screen you see a little eyeball so i'm going to simply tap on that and that's going to take my photo away okay so you see i need to do a little bit of more work here i need to get the part of my glasses that i missed that i didn't zoom in uh, on the right hand side and go back on that left hand side and finish up with my tracing Alright, so I am basically, for the most part, finished right now with my tracing, okay? Uh, I can go back in, I'm going to probably want to touch up my hair, so I can just simply go back in here. You can decide how you want to stylize your hair. You may not want to put a lot of marks in it, just a few simple marks may do for you, uh, or maybe even no marks. I'll let you make that artistic decision. So I'm just going to go in here, fill in a few lines, and I should have it like I want to, okay? So right now I'm basically going to add in my background. Uh, you can kind of experiment around with this. I'm just going to keep it very simple. And the two tools that I have found useful for this is the uh, airbrush or either the watercolor. Now the watercolor, I'm gonna leave on the large setting. So I'm gonna go here and just in honor of ECU, I'm gonna go in and maybe add some yellow and maybe there's some purple. And basically what I'm just doing is I'm just dotting and kind of play around with the size. Uh, as always, you know, if you do something that you don't like, if you don't like those splotches, then you can simply come over here and uh, experiment with the airbrush tool. And that kind of makes a cool effect as well. You really don't want to go overboard with this right now. We're just kind of simply making a simple background. All right, so... Just about done. So what I want to do now is I'm going to take my felt pen. I'm going to zoom in, make my color black. And I'll fast forward the, this part of the video as well. All right, so 
I'm basically think I'm at a good stopping point. Of course, you have the undo button with anything that you want to undo or go back and fix now. Of course, you might want to go back in and add some detail. Just remember, have fun with this. Your picture is not going to be perfect at all. Uh, remember the little eyeball icon, okay? It kind of looks a little weird when we hit that. But we're going to want to keep that off. And my last, or one of my last steps is here. We're going to want to save this photo. So I'm going to go to the upload button. That is the last option up at the three dots. And I'm just going to basically tap on the save image button. And of course I can upload that for my self-portrait assignment. Thanks. Hope you learned something. Have fun.